appreciate the effort for you to get here. Many of you had to work today. Many of you come from long distances. I know we've got some clean from in Tennessee and from Natchitoches, Louisiana. Is that right? Something like that. I asked if it was Natchitoches. I think it's, but uh, we've got a young lady here. We appreciate this group from William Perry so much. Uh, and y'all just give them up. Amen. But uh, we want you to have a good time in the Lord. And this is all about Him tonight. Uh, everything you see is about Him. Every light you see, every song, every instrument, uh, it's all about Him. And uh, we give Him the praise, honor, and glory. And let's just invite Him to be here with us. How about that? Amen. Amen. Everybody just lift the hands this way. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just come before you and we just invite your presence. We invite you to be here. And all praise and glory goes to you. And God, we ask you just to move through this service tonight. If there's any need here, that you meet that need tonight, Lord. And that people leave better than the way that they come. And that we are careful to give you the praise, honor, and glory, Father, Father, Father. Go with us, play through us, sing through us, God, and we give you the praise. And thank you for this time. Thank you for our freedoms. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Give Jesus an applause for us. Bicycles, candy canes, and candlelight. Trying to stay awake all night to catch a glimpse of Santa's reindeer. Mama baking, sister making, angels in the falling snow. And now it seems so long ago. I wish they all were here. Have an old time Christmas, an old time Christmas, just like the ones from yesterday. We leave the world behind us and let the spirit find us and have an old time Christmas or old Captured in our hearts forever Friends scattered It won't matter The magic never melts away It only takes a Christmas day To make it reappear We have an old time Christmas An old the world behind us and let the spirit find us and have an old time Christmas for old time's sake so leave the world behind you and let the spirit find you and have an old
thought I'd fix the same one. I was studying. This next song we're going to do is called Home Again. We had a couple that came with Leroy and Edna last Sunday, and she came up and she tapped me on the shoulder before they left, and she said, I believe this would be a good place to call home. Been thinking about that. I've been a lot of places, but it was always good to come back home. Sometimes I think we get to wondering or thinking, can we really come back home? At one time, Jesus was there and we were here. And he said something had to be done and there was a price that had to be paid for my sins and your sins. He said, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down and I'm going to be born in a virgin Mary. Angel appeared to her and said that you're going to have a son. And you're going to call his name Jesus. He's going to take away the sins of this world. But I still have a choice in that and you have a choice. But what happened was when I invited him, what I basically did, I invited him home. Second Corinthians chapter 5, it says that we're home in this body, yet we're absent from him. Well, he came down not just to be with us, but to be in us. Amen. Think about it. Yeah, give him some praise tonight. That's good stuff. And therefore, therefore, I can be at home now and I can, I can have a little bit of heaven tonight. Let me rephrase that. Maybe I can have a whole lot of heaven tonight. And you can. And that's what this is about. That's what this is about. It's about you and it's about me and it's about him coming for us that he loved you and I that much. That he would come and he was born and laid in a manger. That we could always come home again. We welcome you home tonight. If you feel like you're out there and you feel like that you've been away, welcome home. And Jesus is saying, I don't want to just be around you. I want to be in you. And he's saying, and the angels are rejoicing and saying, welcome home. There's a storm across the valley. Clouds are rolling in. The afternoon is in. There's a truck out on the four lane a mile or more away and the whining of his wheels just makes it colder he's an hour away from riding on your prayers up in the sky ten days on the road There's a fire softly burning, suppers on the stove, but it's the light in your eyes that makes him burn. And hey, it's good to be back home again, and sometimes it's so far feels like a long lost friend. Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again. There's all the news to tell him. How'd you spend your time? What 
Lots of ladies things the neighbors say And your mother called last Friday The sunshine made her cry And you felt the baby move just yesterday And hey, it's good to be back home again Sometimes this old farm feels like a long, long spring. Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again. And all oh, the time when I can lay this tired old body down, and feel your fingers feather soft on me. This is that I live for the love that lights my way, the happiness that living with you brings me. It's the sweetest thing I know of, just spending time with you. It's the little things that make a house a home. Like a fire softly burning Supper on the stove And the light in your eyes That makes me warm And hey, it's good to be back home again And sometimes it's so fun Feels like a long, long spring Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again. And hey, it's good to be back home again. You know it is. And sometimes it's so fun. Feels like a long lost friend. Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again. And I say,
another clap of praise. God is so good to us. Hallelujah. Hail, hail to the newborn King. Let our voices sing Him our praises. Hail, hail to the guiding light that brought us to God to our Savior. So we held her in, he 
with the tears upon her face was a labor of love. It was not a silent On the streets of Damon's town By now New York City Snow's on the ground And out in California The sunshine's falling down Maybe down in Memphis Graceland's all in line And in Atlanta, Georgia there's peace on earth tonight Christmas in Dixie It's snowing in the pine Merry Christmas from Dixie To everyone It's windy in Chicago The kids are out of school There's magic in Motown The city's on the moon In Jackson, Mississippi To Charlotte, Carolina And all the nation It's a peaceful Christmas time Christmas in Dixie It's snowing in the pine Merry Christmas from Dixie To everyone And from Porterville, Mississippi Merry Christmas to This next song is backed by popular request. You know, I don't know why, but Mississippi sort of gotten a bad rap over the years. Uh, we're trying to keep it low profile because if people really find out how good Mississippi is, everybody want to move in. Uh, we thought about putting up a gate on the interstates. <laughs> really did. When all the movie stars were saying they weren't going to come here and make a movie and all this kind of stuff, and uh, we well, just going to just put up a gate, you know. But but Mississippi, uh, you know, it's it's good to live in Mississippi and Alabama and Louisiana, and it is good to live. We've been in Michigan and Wisconsin and. Ohio and all those places too, but it's like that coming home deal. This is home uh, for right now. But uh, we're going to sing this song. <coughs> Amen. Uh, and I think y'all recognize it.
but it talks about living in the south and it talks about the coming of the king of glory and he's going to come back on that white horse and him and his saints at the end of this thing and they're going to be riding with him and uh, I've already got my horse saddled up Amen. Listen to this song. Oh, oh, oh. 
to give him another round of praise tonight. Do you know what glory is? It's majestic. It's splendor. Amen. It's 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 true happiness. It's true peace. Amen. And that is what he is wanting us to experience. And that's the reason that he came down to us, not to just be around us, but to be in us. Because his peace surpasses all understanding. Amen. Can y'all get a hold of that tonight? Amen. It's not worried about everything that's going on around you. It's about trusting in him. That's why he said, don't worry about what you're going to take with you. Just go. And, and, and that's how this place exists. That's what's going on here tonight. We don't worry about that. We don't sit there and, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging for good. My goodness. Mount said a while ago, it's a blessing, it's a miracle. It is a miracle, and it's a blessing to be here with y'all tonight. And for all of us to gather here on a Friday night, December the 2nd, 2016, to give praises to the King of glory, because He is worthy of it all. My, my goodness. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marked you know. Amen. Church, this is not just happen chance. It's not, it may happen. This is literally going to take place. Can y'all get a hold of that tonight? It's literally going to take place. And I'm going to tell you, it could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. It could be the next day. It could be in a few minutes. The thing about it is, the thing about it is, what we're experiencing now, can you get a hold of this? It's going to be that way for eternity. Amen. My goodness, if you don't like me now, you ain't going to like me then. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, we got to spend eternity with him. I mean, checkered board vest and all. You see? <laughs> We are so, so blessed tonight. We appreciate you so much. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen.
On the humble side of town There stands a little old Christmas tree Looks a lot like Charlie Brown's And underneath there's one little gift for him And one little gift for her After six months on the new job, they're still barely getting by. So in the way of decoration, there's nothing there to catch your eye. But both of them would be the first to say, we're together, we're gonna have a merry Christmas anyway it's Christmas is all in the heart that's where the feeling starts and like the fire inside it touches every heart it's Christmas is all in The joy can still be found wherever you are. This Christmas is all, all in the heart. Two little blonde-haired boys with big dreams tried to sleep, but sleep wouldn't come. We'd be tearing into presents Long before the break of dawn His mom and dad and cameras making sure We'd never forget that day Now I'm the one who's taking pictures In the Just can't wait until daylight And in my sleepy eyes The spark still glows I guess there's just some things A kid never outgrows Cause Christmas is all in the heart That's where the feeling starts Touches every part. Christmas is all in the heart. Even if no white snow falls, that's okay because the joy can still be found. Christmas is all, all in the heart. No, it's not in the snow that may or may not fall, and it's not in the gifts around the tree. It's in the Savior came and that same love can still be found wherever you are. This Christmas is all in the heart and the joy can still be found wherever you are. This Christmas is all
chapter 2 there is a story about a man named Simeon. And the story goes that he was waiting on something. Does anybody here know what he was waiting on? The Bible said he was waiting on the consolation of Israel. But if you read all of that story, He also says in that passage that a light for the Gentiles. Who's that? That's us. And the Bible says that he waited for the consolation. Does anybody here know what consolation means? One that consoles. I can remember just a couple of years ago when I was 11 years old. <laughs> I had always wanted a shotgun. It was coming Christmas. 
Mom and Daddy didn't have much money. And I'd been waiting on that shotgun for, seemed like forever. I had gotten a little puppy, a little beagle puppy, and I was had raised him and his, I named him Sport. And Sport was waiting on me to get a shotgun. Because Sport, Sport wanted to go hunting. He knew I couldn't hit no one no rock. I can still remember it like it was yesterday when a package was handed to me. And I knew that it was long and tall. And, and I was like, could it be? And I tore into that package and there was that shotgun that I had waited and waited and waited for. Me and Sport, we'd get up on Saturday mornings and we'd go rabbit hunting. Sport jumped a rabbit, and if anybody knows anything about rabbit hunting, if you'll just wait there, he's coming back. So I, he would jump the rabbit, and I'd wait there, and he'd run the rabbit around. The rabbit would come back, I'd shoot the rabbit. Me and Sport would go to the house. Me and Sport would go squirrel hunting. I didn't think I could be any happier when I got that shotgun. Went on a duck hunt. It was just a single bird. But man, those guys had pumps and automatic. They didn't kill nothing. I killed a big old greenhead bottle. One, one shot. That's all I had. Well, you know what I'll reload. But I was the happiest kid on the Kemper Winston line about that shotgun. Simeon waited all of his life for Jesus. For the consolation. He waited for the comforter. He waited for a consoler. He waited for somebody to tell him, doesn't make any difference what you're going through. It's going to be all right. Amen. Somebody get a hold of this tonight. Amen. And he waited and he waited. And I kept studying that body. I got to study a little deeper. And it means something else. It means the ones, the participants that have been eliminated before the final round. Did y'all hear that? A consolation. It's for the ones that have been eliminated before the final round. Let me tell you something. It's another round tonight. Y'all get all this? You may feel like you've been eliminated. You've been waiting and you've been waiting and you've been waiting for something good to happen in your life. You've been waiting for something. For You, you, you say, well, this person says God's moving his, but where's God at in my life? And you feel eliminated. I don't know about y'all, but when we're playing basketball and baseball and, and all that, it was always a sad time to be eliminated. Everybody picked everybody else and left you out. And nobody wanted you. Finally, somebody just had to take you. Because what they was trying to say, you just wasn't no good. I had somebody tell me that one time. That I wasn't as good as somebody else. And I was sort of taught that. Then I got to reading and studying that God's no respecter of persons. What He'll do for one, He'll do for another. Amen. So if God did it for Peter, then God will do it for Doug Stokes. Yes. If God did it for Paul, if Paul can be walking around blind on the road to Damascus and, and, and go blind, and God tells him, says, you need to go here and, 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 and get ready, you know? And, are y'all hearing this? And, his, and he, Paul was a terrorist. He was killing people like us. But there was another round. Y'all ain't getting this tonight. There was another round. And Paul met Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. We're fixing to do a song waiting here for you. 
If the Lord is moving in your life or if you have a need tonight, I don't have to touch you. We'll be glad to pray for you. Be glad to. But my buddies here, I seen them a while ago. I was asked to speak at a church over in Carrollton, Alabama at a men's breakfast. And he's here and this young man come up. Never had met him before in my life. He come up and he started telling me a story. The doctors had wrote him off. Well, nothing else they could do. And basically sent him home. Said, this, it, ain't, it ain't nothing there. But he's here and I may not get it just for but he said that he went to church. And he walked down that aisle and the pastor stepped down. But he said he looked past the preacher. And he saw Jesus. Somebody get a hold of this. He said he looked past the preacher and he saw Jesus. And said, Jesus just sort of went. Like it's been 13 years ago. He was telling me about it the other morning. Look past your problem. Look past. Somebody may have done you wrong. Somebody may have said something. Somebody may have hurt your feelings at church. Somebody, don't let that stop you from receiving what God has for you. He wants you to walk in perfect peace and happiness. He wants you to leave here happy. He wants you to be at peace. And He doesn't want you to worry about anything. He doesn't want you to worry about how you're going to pay your house book. He doesn't want you to worry about your health insurance. He doesn't want you to worry about all that. He wants you to have peace. And He wants you to be happy. And He wants you to have the joy and the peace that surpasses all that. Look past everything. Just look for Jesus tonight. You let the Lord have His way in your life tonight. If He's speaking, you come down here. Like I said, we'll be glad to pray with you. You just come down here to these altars and you can just reach out and say, Lord, I have a need. Meet that need. We're waiting here for you. Nothing else matters but Jesus. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing else matters tonight. It's about where I'm at with Him. It's about where you're at with Him. Let Him have His way tonight.
here for you. What are you waiting for? We're at the part of our service where we're going to light these candles. We do this song every year. It's about carrying your candle. It's about lighting your candle and being a light to this world. It's not just being a light tonight. It's being a light tomorrow. And tomorrow night. Sunday. Sunday night. Then comes the real test. Monday. And Monday night. If Melanie doesn't have me supper cook when I get home Monday. That's where the problem starts. Then <laughs> Tuesday, and Tuesday night, and Wednesday, and Wednesday night, and Thursday, and Thursday night, and Friday, and Friday night. It's about being the light. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Eric's here tonight. And I hired Eric years ago at Bology, Alabama. Me and Eric was talking the other day at work, and <laughs> I think he said something about you melting out at your old age, or something like that. Or I'm still wired about three phase. But maybe I've gotten a little bit better. Maybe I'm not as bad as I used to be. Are y'all hearing this? How many of you are a work in progress? The rest of you lying. I'm a work in progress. Maybe my temper is not as bad as it used to be. That verse in the Bible where it says, Be angry and sin not. I'm trying to get all that figured out. Where's that line at? That's what I'm talking about, about being the light 24-7. It's not just me standing up here tonight. It's when... Hydraulic lines are blowing on a crane. It's when we find a crack in the boom. It's when we do all of this kind of stuff. It's when the wind's blowing 30 miles an hour and we got to shift out of barge and I can't even see over it. It's about being that way then, not just now. Well, y'all got quiet then. I must be stepping on somebody's toes. It's about being that light. So when you light your candle tonight, and I'm going to ask these men, uh, Daryl and uh, Alan and uh, several of us up here, I'm going to ask them just to come on up here. And we've got a young man here, I think, tonight from Mobile, 96 years old. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If he feels like it, he can come down here too. We'll put him in a chair down here. But, uh, Amen. World War II, I believe. Amen. Yeah, y'all get in. Do, do you understand? Do you understand the freedoms that you have tonight is because? Uh, hello. He fought for your freedom. How many more veterans do we have here tonight? Amen. Lift your hand. Amen. Y'all give me. Amen. Stay right there. Amen. What we're going to do is light their candle. And 
And y'all are going to get up and you're going to come and light your candle off of their candle. Amen? Amen? And I want you to think about it when you're lighting your candle. What are you going to be like tomorrow? What are you going to be waiting on? What are you going to be doing? What are you thinking about? I know it's sad to say, but it's really not if Alabama beats Florida. And we ain't even saying nothing about the Mississippi team. I don't know if they could beat Meridian High School. But, is that it? Yeah, yeah. Amen. It's, it's not about whether Clemson beats Virginia Tech. That's not going to determine eternity. It's not going to do it. What's going to determine your eternity and my eternity is right now. And it's about being the light that He's called us to be. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something. When I when I finally realized the direction I was going and that I needed to save and that I couldn't do it on my own and I said, Lord, I'm going to wait on you. You're looking around tonight and you're sitting in a place that we waited on Jesus. And we're going to continue to wait on Him move in the direction yeah. I'm going to ask you to stand tonight. Amen. Here comes my young man right now. Amen. 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 from Mobile. What's our excuse? Amen. We're going to give you the honors tonight of lighting the first candle. Ricky, cut that spotlight off. Just shut it off. Started easing this way. Do the by rows. The front row, just make a loop. This row, come around and go back to your seats. And then after they get back, another row come up.
give you some praise in this house tonight. Amen. Amen. Y'all can do better than that tonight. Look around you. Look around you and see that this place, how it's lit up. Amen. Are y'all hearing this tonight? Just look around you and you challenge your neighbor to be a light in this world. Amen. And you go out and you make a difference. And may this be the best Christmas you've ever had. Amen. 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 That you go out and you share and be the light of the world and you share Jesus with everybody you see. Amen. And you tell him what's happened in your life. Amen. Amen. Mountney said that our theme song was Look What the Lord Has Done. And we're going to end this thing on Look What the Lord Has Done. And then I'm going to bless the food. We want all of y'all to stay and, and we, we, we've ate spiritually, we're going to eat physically. Amen? Amen. This is the best part. What we already had. But we appreciate all the food. Amen? Look what the Lord has done. Amen.
take your candles this way. I want to bless you tonight. In the powerful name of Jesus, we bless them coming in. We bless them going out. We bless them in the city and we bless them in the field. Everything that they put their hands to shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus, we speak protection and guidance and direction over them. Wherever our men and women are fighting for this country at, we speak Psalm 91 over them right now. They may fall to the left and they may fall to the right, but it shall not come nigh their dwelling. In the name of Jesus. And we speak this over everybody here. And God, I speak a blessed, happy Merry Christmas on everybody here that we understand why you came. And if we're waiting on something, you will fulfill your promise because you cannot lie. And we thank you and we praise you for this night. We thank you for the food that's been prepared. We bless it right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Give him some praise. We invite everybody to stay tonight and eat with us. Amen. You be blessed and God bless you. Amen.